Today, we're going to play two truths and a lie, the real estate version. Think you know your stuff about environmental hazards in the home? Keep watching for answers. Hey all, it's Amy Darlow. Ask Amy for Downers Grove area and DuPage County real estate. I've always loved the game Two Truths and a Lie. It brings out the critical thinkers in us. Today, I present you with the following. Which one is the lie? Let's start with the phrase, all homes have radon. This one is absolutely true. Radon is a naturally occurring gas that comes from the ground. Is it dangerous? Well, experts agree that it can be at concentrated levels. Many would-be home buyers test for elevated radon in properties they plan to purchase so they know whether their new home may benefit from a radon mitigation system. Now, mitigation systems aren't excessively expensive, and simply put, they provide an easy path for any accumulated radon gas to safely exit the home. Okay, all homes have mold. This one is also 100% true. Molds occur everywhere naturally, and most are not toxic. Now, many of us are sensitive to them though. So exposure to excessive amounts of mold can cause a whole host of allergic reactions. Mold growth happens anytime three conditions are right, temperature, food source, and moisture. Now, because our home environments almost always include the first two, managing mold typically relies heavily on eliminating excess moisture. Proper ventilation, fixing leaks before they have a chance to become problems, and keeping proper humidity levels inside the home can curtail most mold issues. Now, the EPA suggests that any areas of mold that are 10 square feet or less can safely be cleaned by homeowners. Now, if you're struggling with larger areas, I have great mold remediation experts I can recommend to help. So that leaves the lie. No, not all homes have asbestos. It's true that asbestos was used in many building products from approximately the 1930s all the way up through about the 1980s. But for the past 40 years or so, asbestos containing products have been banned. Now, for homes built during the 1930s to 1980s timeframe, it's not unusual to still find some of these products, such as pipe wraps, insulation, resilient flooring, um, joint compound, um, like textured walls. Those sorts of things can be asbestos containing. The interesting thing about asbestos is that the very best thing to do for it is almost always to leave it alone. Asbestos is a mineral fiber that is not believed to pose health risks if it remains intact. Because of this, most recommendations for remediating asbestos involve either encapsulating or sealing the product to ensure that fibers do not get free or to enclose the product completely, such as like floating a new floor over asbestos tiles. So were you able to spot the lie? The important takeaway from all of this is to say, there are ways to remediate all of these environmental hazards. And I can connect you with the right professionals to help you do it safely. Have a topic you would like to see covered? DM me to make a suggestion. I would love to answer it on a future episode of Ask Amy.